I, I will not be disappointed if if they don't get to the final because they they've done well enough. They've done, they've done well, but the truth of the matter is, I think one government and the boys, you know, understand this is going to be their biggest tax in their career. This is going to be. They can if, smell they, the I, trophy. I, I just hope they, they won't be complacent to this one. No, they really take the Sweden very well because they knew what happened in the group stages, mm. and I, like I said. Sweden is the most difficult side we've played so far this tournament. They are the only side that we fail to beat. Mm. We are seen on building that record is in, in our pocket. You know, we're going to this one with plenty of cohesion, plenty of quality going forward. You are not sure at the, at the middle, you know, you're here, you know, Tai mm. mm. And I think we have, been, we have been decent at the back also. We kept the clean sheet in our last game against Uruguay. Hopefully, the guys could just get the job done against uh, the Sweden side. Mm. All right, so tomorrow, semi final day at the FIFA Under 17 World Cup. We can only wish Manu Gaba and his boys uh, all the best of luck. If they do not, go beyond this stage they've done well, well enough we yeah. have something to build on yeah, of course but the way we are as nigerians once we smell it <laughs> we want to taste it so <laughs> and, and also what it is the coach is also because yeah so we want to wish them the best of luck going forward but let's let's step up and talk about the big one um this shouldn't keep our eyes away from the big one over the weekend coach steven keshi named a squad of 25 mm. because we are looking at the big picture the big picture is not winning the Under-17 World Cup, we've won it three times already. The big picture is qualifying for the 2014 <laughs> World Cup. Not just qualifying, but becoming the first African team yep. to get the big ticket. to the semi-finals. To the semi-finals. That's what we're looking at. I'm starting for the Super Eagles. <laughs> Two guys, I mean, can you release the name of, 20, of 25? Mm -hmm. No surprises, because the same guys that uh, played the first leg against Ethiopia are yep. the same guys coming back. Mm -hmm. But for the inclusion of Ruben Gabriel, and Kenneth Omero. Ruben Gabriel, I'm happy for him. I hope Ruben Gabriel is fit because he's not played football <laughs> in a long time because of a groin injury. I hope he's fit. If this guy is fit, he brings a whole lot of energy, yes. dynamism yes. into the Eagles. And for yes. Kenneth, we know what they can do. Yes, and uh, Tony, I think um, well said, you've said it. Um, Kenneth uh, Omero is a top class event that I need any time. And for Gabriel Ruben, we knows what he brings to the table mm. anytime he does the green white if jersey of Nigeria. Fit. And that is that is where I have problems with his selection into the uh, the 25 man list. I still feel that some other players have been playing. The, the national team shouldn't be a rehabilitation center. Uh, has defended he, himself. He says Gabriel Ruben is fit. He's fit. He has not been playing games for his Scottish team. Mm. He has not played. Uh, I, I, he has not played any game, game, game this season. So I don't. Mm. I, 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 the national team. The national team is meant for uh, uh, for players who are, who are ready, who are playing, who are fit, who are, who are, who are, who are mentally fit, who are physically fit to actually uh, get do the we, job done. Toby, do we give Keshi the benefit of the doubt? Do we give Keshi the benefit of the doubt? He's calling 25 because mm. we have a game against Ethiopia. Yep. A must-win game. Travel to London. A must-win game. And immediately after, we are up to London for a friendly against yep. Italy. And for me, the beginning of preparations for the 2014 World Cup. And if you look at the last three games Keshe has played, Malawi in Calabar, um, Ethiopia in Addis Ababa, yep. and this team, second leg against Ethiopia, is, is stuck to the same set of players. Yep. Set of players. They're trying to build the momentum. Maybe the that the is the core. Of Keshi's team, yeah, this is maybe is. that's the core of Keshi's team. Yeah, there might be you know, you know, some few additions, two or three additions, but, like Fengo that is injured. Yeah, yeah but what every matter is okay, Fengo is injured. You are bringing in Gabriel that is here to the last time I saw Gabriel play, should be in the Federation Cup, the third place game in, in Lagos against Prime FC. You know, Gabriel, a long time ago. It does, Gabriel has struggled with, yes, we, we want to go down. We, 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 we need to call again. Ruben is a quality midfielder in the end of time. But we're talking about his fitness Nobody, right now. Yeah. but if Ruben is fit, yes, Fengo is out to not bring in the Ruben. We might not even he might not even make you know the day squad, <laughs> but you know like you said we will travel Rehabilit you know, to London, bringing him back, bringing him back. But but the national team should the be for the player team. who is ready to play, who is fit, mm. who is mentally fit, physically fit, and who is ready for the big game. Uh, but, but for Kenneth, Kenneth is enjoyed. We've seen how Kenneth Kenneth have been the player. He has well. played a, a game for Chelsea under twenty one. Under twenty one, you know, trying to come back. Kenneth might be rested. Gabriel might be rested. But the matter is, Kenneth might in the January try to seek a low move. To get regular games, we're talking about the World Cup. To him, we need, like, like I said, fit mm. player. But for Gabriel, like I said, benefit of a doubt. Let's see if if, 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 if Ruben is fit. Yes. I, hope, yes. I, hope, I hope, I hope, I hope Ruben will be featured in that game. And let's see how you know Ruben. But it's going to be difficult for him. Also, mm. you look at the middle. The coach has a final say. The coach has a final say. And, and now there's more pressure on Kenneth because I uh, beg your pardon. There's more pressure on Ruben. Or Ruben. Yeah. People are saying he hasn't played any game. And Why is he being called? We will wait to see how that pans out at the end of the day. But you know. We um, like to hear from you. Maybe you could help us out. A lot of people already on Twitter um, are saying um, uh, quite a few things as well um, about uh, the color. But let's hear from you. 
you talk to us, um, make this as interactive as possible. Speak to us um, about the Golden Eaglets. What do you feel about the Golden Eaglets? Uh, can they go all the way? How do they approach that game against Sweden? And then talk to us about Gabriel Ruben, Kenneth Omeru, uh, two guys that are making a return to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. What do you feel? Do we give Keshi the benefit of the doubt based on what we know Ruben can do if yep. he's fit? Maybe Ruben is just knocking on the door and maybe this is the opportunity he needs to really get back to the Ruben Gabriel that we know of, all right? So talk to us using those platforms, on um, Facebook, and of course the Twitter handles you saw. Please take advantage of all those things and talk to us as we go on uh, on Sports Tonight. We will read your comments and uh, take a look at some of the things that you um, have to say. All right, we will um, go on um, a quick break. Uh, when we return from the break, we will talk more uh, about the CAF Champions League, first leg played over the weekend in South Africa. We have issues around um, uh, National Sports Festival. We have uh, the Lagos International Swimming Classics as well. A whole lot of things to talk about uh, on sports tonight when we return uh, from this break. Let's bring you that game, Nigeria-Sweden, under 17. Most difficult game for the Golden Eagles so far in this tournament. But something tells me that tomorrow's game will be very different, easier than this one that ended 3-3. So let's bring you that game once again, and then we'll come back for more. That was how it ended, 3-3. I hope the coaches have um, corrected the lapses. We couldn't deal with the long balls. The sweets were bigger and were relying on physical play, and our boys couldn't cope with it. But I think we've handled uh, bigger teams well ever since that game. We brought in um, that number six, that central defender, yep. uh, um, Abdul, what's his name? Abu Zala, Bakar. Is it Zaladin Belo? The tall guy. So he deals with, with long balls better. We yeah. moved the captain to right back, yeah. and then moved uh, Nwakali, who was playing right back, to defensive midfield so it looks like that has sorted out um, a few problems um, around our team but let's let's look at some of the comments that we have um, on Twitter um, flames at uh, Benzo at Benzi Olajide um, says the Eagles should use the wings more um, maybe supply of crosses I wouldn't yeah, even look like somebody it's, it's, can it's get to the coming. end of crosses yeah the, the mm. crosses have been coming uh, you could see at uh, the captain of the side there Musa Mohamed uh, anytime um, there is a there is a move in the midfield it comes straight um, to the right and of course sending the inswing mm. guys mm. but, but, but it's our, been our, our final ball is still poor you know, our final ball is still poor yeah crosses we have to work on our delivery yep. uh, yeah. with crosses. Awuni looks big and can get to the end of crosses, so we can use that as well at a good advantage. Um, Ola from London, watching us from London, uh, says, uh, for me, Omero is world class any day. Uh, and I think your point is, is yep. that Omero should get playing yes. time. Mm. Yes. This is, we're going into a World, world Cup, Cup here. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Uh, we can't rely on playing a few yeah, games yeah. on the chess and at 20 Yes, we are much rusty. And, and then we are before, before the first two games. <laughs> the, the, the story is uh, the first <laughs> chipping in. So I, I think I want to agree with you. It says Omero is world class any day. When is Nigeria playing in London? We're playing on the 18th of November. Uh, As are the Craven Cottage. Craven Cottage, home ground of Fulham. Fulham That's where we're playing against four times world um, champions. champions. Four times. They've won it how many times? Italy. The, Italy. They've won it um, four times, I think. Four times. Four times. The last was uh, 2006, Germany. Yep. 2006. Yes. All right. I know, okay, former world champions. Whether <laughs> four times or not. Former world champions, Italy. And uh, that game will be in London on the 18th. Craven Cottage. Uh, on the 18th of November, all right? But as you said, 
we need to ensure that all our players yeah. are